Hello again, Doofiend here, coming to you from my own desktop. I am going to address a problem that one of my viewers has had and expressed an interest in needing help with, and that is to download, install, and get the OV10A mod working. Now, parts of those are really easy, and I'm sure that, that uh, my viewer hasn't had any problems with that, but his, he is saying that it hasn't shown up. I would like to go through this process and just make sure that I can do it so that I can help people with it. I am definitely going to go to the split air group. This is the place to get the mod. It is also to get help here. Um, there are people here that know a lot more than I do and there are people who've had a lot of interesting problems I just know that this is where they meet. The help and the need come together in this particular area. So you download it from the announce page. There's the link. The link took me here. I've already purchased it, but it would be a place where you could purchase it for anywhere from zero euro to however much you think it's worth. Uh, it takes you to this page, allows you to download the link, puts you over to an Omega page where it gives you the zip. I have just recently downloaded a fresh copy. I am now going to go to my zip manager. I'm going to just take a look. So we've got everything we need here for the mod including the readme all right so it's going to go to save games open beta mods aircraft bronco v1 all right that is the instructions i'm going to go back up to here that's bronco v1 we're going to extract i'm going to go here to where i've got my dcs world and DCS open beta folders. I will not be putting it in either of those two because that would be wrong. I'm going to put it in my saved games folder. I'm using the open beta, <coughs> excuse me, the open beta today. I'm putting it to mods, aircraft, and it's got its own folder there for Bronco. So I'm going to hit it there. It's going to do its thing. And once that's done, I can get rid of these, I can get rid of that. I don't need that up on my face anymore. I'm going to go and open DCS. All right, now that I am in DCS, uh, I can find it here. It is in one of these little icons. There it is. Under Bronco. So there's that. Set wallpaper. I'm going to open a mission just real quick. Let's go to. Uh, yeah. Combined arms for you to now just. Yeah, combined arms for you two. There we go. All right, I'll just throw that in there. All right, now that I have loaded into the mission editor, I'm just going to set an airplane down right there. I am going to make it an OV-10A. If I can find it, uh, let's see, it should be alphabetical L M N O P, right? No, it's probably under B for Bronco, actually. There it is. Yeah, Bronco OV-10A. All right. There, I want to make it a client so I can jump into it. I am going to then pick a skin. All right, so I am going to exit the mission editor. I would just hit, you know, flight, go 
do that, but I wanted to demonstrate one more thing real quick as to why maybe it's not showing up. I don't want to save changes. Instant action. Now, the Bronco does not seem to have an instant action. So it's not showing up here because there are no missions for it. So I have to create my own missions in the mission editor or campaign builder or however you're gonna do it um, or run a mission from another user. That would be how you would do it. That'd be why maybe it's not showing up for you. Hopefully some of this is helpful. Um, again, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, you thought it educational or you just uh, like this type of content, uh, feel free to uh, like, comment, and or subscribe. Uh, have a good day and this is Doofiend out.